Hello everyone. In this video, we will talk about the esteemed Nobel Prize in Chemistry, which has recently been awarded. One half of this award has been given to David Becker of USA for computational protein design and the other half has been given jointly to Demis Hassabis and John Jumper of United Kingdom for protein structure prediction. The Nobel Prize in Chemistry this year is all about proteins, the chemical tools of life. David Becker has succeeded with the Im almost impossible task of building entirely new kinds of proteins. Demis Hassabis and John Jumper, on the other hand, have developed an artificial intelligence model to solve the long-standing problem of predicting proteins' complex structures. These discoveries hold enormous potential, and we are going to learn all about them. Proteins are large molecules made up of smaller units called amino acids. Think of amino acids as the letter of the alphabet. And when they combine in different sequences, they form unique words, or in this case, unique proteins. There are 20 different kinds of amino acids that our bodies use to make proteins. Some of these we can make ourselves, but others are called essential amino acids, which must come from our diet. Without these amino acids, our body cannot produce the proteins we need for proper functioning. An average protein has around 100 amino acids. So think of how many combinations of these type of proteins are possible. In nature, the information for making proteins is available with the DNA or genes. Genes help in formation of amino acids. Once amino acids link up, they fold into specific shapes. The shape of the protein is incredibly important because that is what will determine its function. Imagine a key. It only works in the lock that matches its shape. Similarly, the proteins have unique shapes which help them to do their jobs in the body. David Becker has worked to create a new type of protein through computation. They use deep learning systems for this. They started with a particular function which they wanted the protein to do. With that in mind, they designed the sequence of the amino acid which might be able to create such a protein. With that in place, an artificial segment of DNA or gene is created with the sequence of amino acids which is required. This is then introduced into the bacteria to see if the bacteria will produce this new protein. This protein is not present in nature. It is artificially designed and produced. In 2003, David Baker succeeded in designing this new protein, which was unlike any other protein. Since then, his research group has produced one imaginative protein after another, including the proteins that can actually be used in pharmaceuticals, as vaccines, as nanomaterials, and as very tiny sensors. Now let's come to the second development, which is about the understanding of this protein structure. Currently, scientists experimentally find out the structure of proteins. It's a very tedious process. It takes a lot of time because this protein structure is very complex and proteins can have so many possible configuration. Like think about it. A scholar might take almost a year to configure one protein. In 2020, Demis Hassabis and John Jumper presented an AI model called AlphaFold2 to solve this issue of studying protein structures. With its help, they have been able to predict the structure of virtually all the 200 million proteins that are present. And since this big breakthrough, AlphaFold2 has been used by more than 2 million people from 190 countries. It allows estimation of protein structure in a very fast manner. It is undergoing further advancement as we speak, so that it can become more and more accurate in these predictions. 
This will accelerate the use of proteins in different areas and make way for newer application. Interestingly, AlphaFold 2 is actually a product of Google DeepMind. It is a British-American artificial intelligence research laboratory which serves as a subsidiary of Google. So, your very own Google is now winning Nobel Prizes. Life could not exist without proteins. Proteins build and repair tissues from muscle to skin and organs. They create enzymes and help digest food and fuel chemical reactions. They support immune function. Protein helps your body fight off infections. They regulate hormones, keeping everything in balance from growth to metabolism. And the fact that we can now predict protein structures and design our own proteins offers the greatest benefit to humankind for going beyond these roles into solving novel problems of the modern man. With this, we complete today's extensive discussion. I hope you all learned about proteins and the Nobel Prize. Stay tuned for more topics in our Deep Dive series.